So welcome back to another episode. And today I can finally talk about some of my thoughts about the Nintendo conference and what ended up happening after the Sony conference and the Microsoft conference. I actually got a cold for a few days, so I just was like kind of under the weather, couldn't really talk about some things that I was thinking and I had a lot I, I wanted to talk about. And at the end of the video is a little surprise I have in store for you guys. But first let's go to the Nintendo conference. What did I think? Every year I go into the conferences and I have so much hype, I'm expecting so much. And where did that leave the Nintendo conference? I thought it was a good conference. I, uh, I was expecting, you know, like I always expect way more. There was so many stupid rumors on the internet. There were so many rumors like uh, of uh, a Star Tropics. Wii U that was gonna come out, that was a ridiculous rumor, but for some reason I'm like, maybe it's possible, I, I knew it wasn't, but what did I say? I got up at seven in the morning, I wasn't feeling too good and I watched it, and they had Super Mario 3D World. What did I initially think? I was disappointed at first, because I was expecting, what I was hoping for was like a, a semi-sequel to Galaxy or to Mario 64, I wanted a, a really bold graphical Mario game and uh, I was looking at it and I was like, I, this is not what I was hoping for. But you know what, over the last bunch of days I've watched more and more videos and it actually looks great. And why it looks good is I like the multiplayer. That's what makes it stand out to me. That's what makes it seem like when it comes out, I'll have a lot of fun with it. I'll have a few friends over and we can play multiplayer through this game. I So that, that I like. So was I overhyped for a next generation Mario game? That's my own fault. But uh, I like what was there. Oh, what else was showing? The new Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. Uh, you know, I, I liked Donkey Kong Country back in the day and it was really funny. We were watching it and Kim comes up behind me and she's like, Oh my God, I love Donkey Kong. This is amazing, blah, blah, blah. And I kind of got excited. I was like, yeah, yeah, this is gonna be good. And it looked really good. It looked like a lot of fun. And I like how they're going a little bit from 2D into 3D. But you know, re retaining the look of Donkey Kong Country, you know, while taking it into kind of next generation uh, graphics and uh, 3D kind of worlds and stuff like that, I I liked it. I thought it was good. I will definitely be picking that up. Uh, what else was up? Uh, Mario Kart, uh, Mario Kart 8 was coming out, and very very excited about that. And uh, have I got the dates wrong? Is it coming out in 2014? That is the the only negative thing I think about that because I I was saying I can't wait for Christmas time for this game to come out and. Somebody said, no, it's coming out in 2014. I'm like, what? So uh, I'll have to check on the dates of that again, but uh, looked great, looked fantastic. I'm hyped for it. Is it another Mario Kart game? Yes, but finally in high definition. I've had so many messages sent to me asking me about this. What is Rob's reaction to Mega Man being playable in the new Super Smash Bros. Wii U? I can tell you this, he is very, very happy. I talked to him the other day on the phone and uh, he's, he's done some Facebook status uh, updates on it. He's very, very excited, and yeah, it looks great. That's a lot of fun. It's it's kind of cool. Yeah, it doesn't seem out of place at all. It just seems to make sense. Now here's my surprise, and it kind of links to E3 actually, uh, to Nintendo E3. Is that I had a very special guest over last week, and that was Charles Martinet. He actually came over to my house, over to my place here because he was actually doing their Vancouver Retro Gaming Expo uh, hosted by Game Deals. A good friend of mine, Brian Hughes, runs all that. So we kind of got together, a little get together at my place and he came over and, uh, and it's funny, he came in and um, I got a really nice photograph with him in here and stuff like that, but I asked him if he wanted to do an interview and he's such a nice guy and he, he's like, I would love to, he said, but I have to talk to Nintendo PR and they have to kind of like say if it's okay or not and because he is a representative for uh, Nintendo, so I, I completely understand, so I wasn't upset about that in, in, in any way. But what a trip to have Charles over here. And uh, he did shoot some video over in, in this room here to prove that he actually was here for the Vancouver Retro Gaming Expo. I set it all up for him. He was accepting an award because he was flying off to back to, you know, to E3 actually for that Monday. He was living on the Sunday. So he shot some video here. Uh, I'll just play that. Well, I just want to say thank you very much to everybody at Vancouver Retro Gaming. I wish I was there. Wait, I was there, but I'm not there now. But if I were, I would say thank you very much for playing my games. Woohoo! You number one! Ha ha! Yeah, what a fantastic guy. And I, I, I had some really good conversations with him over here. He's such a wonderful, wonderful person. And uh, 
And maybe in the future when he comes back, uh, I can get everything cleared up and he can absolutely do an interview here. But, you know, besides that, it was just really cool to get to know the, uh, the guy, Charles, over the weekend. Not, not so, you know, he's the voice of Mario, but it's so cool to know the guy behind that voice. And he's such a, a really... I think P Nintendo could have got a better PR person than him. He's just wonderful. I, what a thoughtful, caring person. I, I can't ever say enough about him. And, uh, I, you know, I took him out for lunch. Um, and then I took him to the airport because uh, he had to fly down to E3 as I say on that Sunday. And uh, uh, me and Kim were just like, I, oh, here, I got I, I, I get a story for you. We're having lunch with him. And uh, I, uh, during, he was at the Vancouver Retro Gaming Expo. He was doing some signings there and a fan had given him a tie, uh, a Mario tie. And so we're having lunch at this restaurant and the waitress comes over and she's like, oh, that's a, that's a really cool tie. And he's like, oh, thank you very much. Yeah, I can't do the Mario voice like he can. It's amazing, trust me, it's amazing. And she's like, oh, you, she goes, oh, you do that voice really well. He's like, oh, thank you. And I, I turned to her and said, you, he actually, he does the voice of Mario. And she's like, yeah, I, I can see that. I'm like, no, 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 he is the voice of Mario. And there's this moment where she's like, you know, it's kind of like that childhood memory thing, you know, like, like the Mario voice you've basically heard for the last 20 years, you know, it's just it's so ingrained into your childhood. You're like, what is this? It's like Santa Claus is there, you know, in a way. And uh, she's like, oh my God, like, that's so amazing. And, uh, and, and so she went and got the other waitress and they came back and said, can we get some video of you saying, you know, Anything that you say from Mario would be great, and a photograph, and and uh, yeah, he's so obliging, and he, he loves doing it, and he's just such a, as I say, he's a great guy, but. So this video's going on a little long, I just want to talk about some of my Nintendo E3 thoughts and uh, feelings about it, I thought it was a pretty good show overall, and I definitely want to talk about my experience with Charles Martinet hanging over here in my gamepad, it was a, a memory for a lifetime, that's for sure, so anyways guys, until next time.